Okay, here's the body with one uh, coat of clear coat. I kind of learned a difficult lesson, which is if you paint on the clear coat before everything is completely and fully dry, you get something that looks like that. That. I got crinkles in one, two, right by the heater channel there on that ridge there, and then one more back here, right there. And, um, you know, if I had just waited one more day, I wouldn't have had that. I also got them here in the, in the back, but that's gonna have sound insulation on it, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but, you know, I had to even look up why paint crinkles, and it's just because if the under coat is not already cured against whatever it's on the thing that you spray over it tries to pull into it and it actually crinkles it so you know I had one spot here on the corner there I had some spots under there and it's really just a matter of trying to paint the next coat on too quickly but you know overall I think that it looks good so now I'm preparing so I I took off the covers for these wheel wells. You can see how this line goes. You know, it's not entirely straight, but it won't matter because this has a rubber seal between the fender and uh, the wheel well. So also here, I cleaned off the screws and uh, looking at these guys here. So then what I did is I've come to my chassis and uh, I got the body to chassis seal kit. So. I cut these guys, I cut the four pieces. One uh, comes up like this and it's gonna have to turn and go around this and then go there. And then one comes along here, it goes all the way up here. Uh, I followed the contour of this and made a diagonal cut. Here I, um, here I uh, cut this one to come up over here. And then the final one here with the diagonal like this comes to right there comes back around so I cleaned off the chassis now what I'm trying to do so what I've heard is that people will just like take an exacto knife and make a little X they make a little X right where each of these holes is so that's what I'll do but I'm trying to I want to put a few little dots a few little globs of some kind of glue or seam sealer or uh, Hawk or something which is going to maybe dab into the uh, these little divots here and then I'll clamp this down so that it will be fixed in place otherwise I'm afraid when I lower the body it'll move the seal out of the way so I also got the two these are the seals that go um, underneath there and then these go on top and uh, there's a metal plate that goes inside this little divot so i have those and then in the back i have the four uh, seals here that just goes in between the body and its um, uh, sort of bolt hole up above and there's uh, a, a plate as well that goes for example on top of this one i think there's a plate that goes in that little uh little area so you know, I have all that I'm getting ready. I think I'm not going to put any more clear coat on this because I just didn't like the experience of the crinkling, but I also, uh, you know, I don't know how shiny I want this to be if it's going to match my other pieces. Um, I think this is about the right le level of sheen and that that's kind of a satin and um, that's the way the bus is and I'm fine with that. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. Um, my main problem was just repairing a couple of these areas that crinkled up like that. There's one area. Uh, you know, but overall I think that the body looks good. Um, and I think that with the uh, components like the fenders, deck lid, and the, the hood, it's going to look really, really good. And I think maybe tomorrow I can actually put the body onto the chassis. And I don't have my sound insulation 
on the on the pans some other things that maybe I should have done but I just didn't order them in the right order so I I've got to order that and I'll do that after the body is already on there and I decided I'm gonna put the engine in afterwards because I'm just really afraid that when I lower the body I will hit the motor you know whatever these carbs that are sticking up etc so anyway that's a, that's my progress now I have to get a battery so I that it's a 42 um, group battery and uh, so I'll try to, I'll get that eventually but um, basically my next step is just to fix the wrinkly parts of the paint job possibly do a full clear coating see this is also crinkled up but possibly do a full clear coating of the inside here because I don't have any clear coat in here yet inside the uh, front hood and uh, you know when and how I fix these crinkled spots here and here um, you know I can do that afterwards or whatever if I'm just waiting for it to dry the paint to dry really firmly and see I have the crinkle the crinkle curse which I patience I need more patience while painting generally though I think it looks great and the, the, the roof the sheen um, the satin sheen off of that I think is good all right now is I'm preparing to I'm just gonna get the body onto the chassis so what I have to do I cut the strips I have four strips like this that go around the perimeter um, this one has to contour around here um, I should probably get rid of these little tacks with my grinder um, and then I'm gonna use clear silicone in order to see, um, in order to get that, I don't, just th don't think I can get those tacks out, so I'll grind them off. And then um, I have the pads here, so I'm going to take, take a dab of silicone, stick these on into place with the hole in the center, same here, and uh, same on these. And then on the front, uh, let's see, where's my, my last pad? Fell off over here. So... I'm gonna stick this one on here. And then uh, on the front, you have the one that here goes over this. And you put the body on it, and you put this on top with a little metal piece, and that goes in here like this. Metal piece goes on top of that and holds it down with the bolt. So what I first have to do is just get these um, uh, rubber strips clamped into place and um, what I'm going to try is the silicone here like this Let's see if that's I probably have to stab it with something in order to get it to come out okay so I take this guy here just stab through to make sure that I come out and then this is a file I just want to get that junk off of there so what I got is I bought five of these clamps here I'm just gonna see if I can that seems like that's gonna work great so what I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna take a dab of this silicone and I'm just gonna put a dab here on the corner I'm just gonna see if I let's see I guess I'll take this piece here and I'm gonna clamp this one down like this And then this piece here is going to come in to the end here. And I'm going to clamp that down. These two clamps. One. And then I have another. And 
another one here. So, uh, let's see, I guess I've got two more clamps here. So let me uh, just get some silicone into the gaps here. So I'm doing like this. And then I will take the this guy here and put two more clamps down just to make sure it stays in place. I said when I'm setting the body on this, I just I don't want this thing to slip or move at all. You seem to remember that I have to stretch this one just a little bit, so I'm gonna pull it just a little bit on this last clamp. And uh Seems to me I could probably just set something on here that has a little bit of weight for the time being, but I think this, this is pretty good. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm just gonna wait a little bit until this first round dries or cures or whatever caulk does and then I'm gonna slide you know keep moving around the whole thing uh, what I can do also though is I can put a dab on each of these guys just a little bit of just a little bit to keep this thing in place so Let's see, I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Take this guy here. Just take a little bit of this little dab. And then take smear that just on here just a little bit. Said so just to act like a little bit of glue. And then I'm putting this one oriented this way on there so that the hole is, is visible through there. Hole is visible through there. Push that down. And I'll just do that on the other side as well. I don't need it on the front beam ones because they go over those little holes. But I'll do it here. That looks good. This one here looks good. So just do that. Take the pressure off of the cell here. You can see, you can see the hole down there in the middle, the hole here. That looks good. So the thing that I'm gonna have to figure out is, I'll set this on here, I'm gonna have to grind off these one, two, three tacks because I have to get my, um, get that seal down flat. So, get the grinder. All right, I'm just gonna take off these three.
well, that's really just so that they don't block anything. I wanted to be really careful not to hit this brake line. So this is all flat enough there, there, and there. This one could be a little flatter, but it's not gonna matter, I don't think. So once this cures a little bit here on these first five clamps, I'll uh, do more silicone, get uh, down uh, down this one. I can probably do this with putting a putting some weight on it, just putting some uh, something to just weigh it down and smear uh, push into that silicone. There's these little divots, so I can basically fill the little divot there with some silicone, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my exacto knife and i'm going to make a little x just a little x in the um rubber where each of these holes is all right well i've got these clamps here now i've just put the caulk around like that and now i'm just going to um get this sort of Probably we'll have to set something on top of this. Get some, get something that is heavy enough, like say my big mallet hammer. Got this. Got, you know, something like this. So, you know. I can just this thing has to go basically like oops, basically like this, and then here's the critical spot here where it uh, has to turn. So that is where it needs some weight on it. So what I'll do is. Got a couple of clamps, so I'll put this clamp on here, right where it has to turn. And here, I need to just clamp it to the very end. So this is gonna go here like that. Actually need to I need to stretch it out just a little bit. All right, and then here at the end. There we go. So that looks like that. This has got the caulk on it. it should I probably just set a few things on it just to uh, make sure that it stays. Let's see. This thing is a little bit heavy. Set that there. Hello. This one, I'll set here. Just to make sure, and then I'm gonna set one more thing on here. <sighs> what do I have that is heavy enough? I'll set on the edge there. I'll just put this little. Uh, one more thing that's heavy. Little reels are heavy. Little reels of uh, okay. So, this is my setup here. Let's just make sure it's straight. That looks good. This looks good. Looks good. This is all good. Coming down the middle of this, down to right there, and then there is the end of the the caulking. So, okay. 
And I do have one more clamp, so what I could do, let's see, I will just put a little bit on this piece here, we'll get this started. So I just want to set something heavy on there. So we'll set this, not heavy, but at least with a little bit of weight on it. That's my blowtorch, so. Just leave that like that. And that should get that started. All right, well, this is what it looks like. All kinds of junk on there. So I'm gonna wait. Um, you know, we'll wait. I have to go watch overtime of the World Cup. This is right now. And then uh, this all should hopefully be dry and cured. And then I can take all these clamps off and either do this or do the other side. Okay, so I did, uh, I guess, what is probably the final clear coat on this. So I put it in here. Unfortunately, a couple of places still peel up like that and that, but fortunately not on really uh, important places. Um, I also just put clear coat on the underside and in the wheel wells and just as a protect protective coating. And uh, I put more on the dash and the underside and all in here, it all has, basically it all has clear coat, including here in the underside of the channels. Um, Along here and on the roof and in here in the engine compartment everywhere has clear coat and I also you see all this junk I have sitting on the chassis because I put the caulk which is uh, this stuff here it's uh, see-through silicone and uh, so I have all these guys as well as these pads um, ready for me to lower the body onto so Really all I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for the silicone to dry and I'm waiting for this clear coat to dry. I will very likely, because the clear coat kind of get a little drippy and whatever, so I'll very likely, like here, I'll very likely do a, a wet sand on this, like, but in a couple of days or a week or something like that when it's, when the clear coat fully dries. I just wanted to make sure that everything was protected. Um, so, I, you know, it looks decent. I put on my door, um, the sort of receiver, latch receivers here for the doors. And um, I, yeah, so waiting for the clear coat to dry. Then I'm going to wait for the silicone to dry, take all these clamps off and everything. Then I'll roll the chassis. This will probably be tomorrow morning. I'll roll the chassis up underneath it and I'll work out some something where I can um, basically uh, lower that down probably first these front bolt holes here um, right down onto the front beam and then uh, we'll see um, I'll try to get this whole thing bolted down once the body is bolted down onto the chassis, there's just an unlimited number of things for me to do, including putting on the fenders, uh, putting in the steering tube. I can put on the window glass. Um, that is the windshield, front windshield, back windshield, and rear quarter panel glass. I can, um, oh, what else? I mean, I can put on the deck lid. I can put on the hood. I have the seals for the, uh, for these, I seem to have painted the uh, painted this one shut. But you know, I'll take a, I'll do whatever it takes to get those seals on there, and then um, I can put the trim on here because I have that trim here and here. Um, I can do a lot of things basically once I get the body down on there. So that I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so that'll probably be tomorrow. So I have my, um, 
I have my windshield here, my headliner. Um, this was a painted, the thing, the seat bar. Um, so doors, I still haven't done anything and I've run gotten down to one can of Lotus White. So it's super annoying, but I'm gonna have to probably order like four or five more cans of Lotus White uh, just to finish off the doors. Um, but um, that being said, that is really good progress um, to be ready to put on the um, body. The other thing that I did just to um, be uh, clear on this is I used this and tapped each of the bolts, each of the receivers so that I know that it will fit. Okay, I'm preparing for the, for the uh, body install, which I'll probably do tomorrow. And in order to do that, what I did is I put the seal on here. You can follow this around. So in the places where it joins and on the edges, I put um, clear um, silicone. So you can see here, there's no way this is gonna leak, at least not initially. Um, so I got the silicone on the inside and the outside. It goes all the way around. I've got this, um, I haven't cut the holes in it yet. Um, but this then meets up here, more silicone, and then it comes up over here. And that looks good. Just make sure that it's centered everywhere and that it's sealed on the inside and the outside. So this looks great. And then uh, here again, some uh, extra silicone to where these bumps kind of come together. All right. Coming down here, and I sealed all this off. I got two clamps where the bend is because it likes to sort of slowly migrate off of that bend. And then I just made sure that this comes all the way back here. It's well sealed here and well sealed here. So this should sit nicely. Um, I did snip these in order to get this to go around this bend. And so in doing that, I, I left the outside rubber bump, snipped the inside one up to here, and then I added silicone here. I did that on both sides, here and here. I think that's going to work fine, and I think it has a, enough, of a, um, enough of a bead there on the outside that it's not going to leak. Um, and I... Did these pads, I located the uh, metal plates that I had before for, for these, so that's my front beam. And um, I put I had put one more clear coat on here and uh, I'm letting this basically dry overnight. And then I'm going to, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try to get this in place. So I had bought one mount kit and apparently you need one per side, so you know, I have my front beam bolts and I have the enough for one side, but then I have all of the ones that were from before. So, you know, I have two choices. I can kind of, I, I ordered another one, so I'm gonna, probably I'll put in, I'll alternate and I'll put in half and half on both sides. And I'll probably put in like one of these on each side just to hold it down. Then I probably have to wait a week from my j -Bug shipment of the second body bolt kit. But that'll make it already in place. I should be able to mount my fenders. I should be able to put my trim in place. I should be able to put my glove box cover there and uh, just start to uh, do things. Like put in my engine seals, which I've got the seal and the hood seal. I can even put in my uh, my front windshield. I can't put in the rest of it until I've got the headliner in, but I do have the headliner. I'm just not sure if I have the padding and all the other things. I've never done a headliner before, so. Um, but anyway, that is the progress on the seal and, um, and prepping for the mounting of the body, hopefully tomorrow.